Philip Stoughton for EMS Now. I'm here at Apex 2013 in California. I'm joined by Rodrigo and Emmanuel from Inventech. Guys, thanks very much for stopping by. Thanks for talking to me. Uh, if I can start with you first, Rodrigo, can you give me a, an update on on the products and, uh, and what's going on with Inventech? I certainly feel uh, First of all, thank you for the invitation. Um, yes, uh, some years ago, Inventech established an internal roadmap mm -hmm. to see how we could start covering all the chemistry-based materials used in the PCB assembly. Uh, with that in mind, we also define uh, to add three advantages or three added values on, on, on the whole range, which is reliability, compatibility with, between materials, and sustainability. Okay. So uh, today, Inventec uh, is the only formulator in the market, producer, offering a wide range of solder paste, solder fluxes, solvent-based uh, and water-based cleaning chemistries and coatings for the PCB assembly. Our technical staff um, uh, masters really the DNA of these materials mm -hmm. and the interactions that are uh, in the process and during the lifetime of the device, once in okay. the market, once operating. And well, we have a wide view of what is expected on the performance, mm -hmm. cost of ownership of the whole solution, and um, benef overall the benefits yeah. of, of, the, of yeah. the materials. And that one-stop solution that you decided on as a roadmap, that, that kind of compatibility, bringing all those together. Is that something that was in response to custom, customer demand that you identified? Uh, completely. Uh, we saw customers um, not using sometimes the correct uh, decision, taking the correct decision on the material choice or the process. Uh, you know, it's not black and white. Sometimes you have to, to review mm. all the, and analyze all different interactions. And in fact, um, yes, it was a complete direct response to, yeah. to, to the market, yes. Okay. And Emmanuel, in, in terms of um, the importance of those three things, compatibility, um, I guess is, is key because people need a holistic solution. Are they coming to you with, are people coming to you with, with problems that, that need several chemicals or, or several elements to resolve? Usually, uh, a lot of customers come with the problem of reliability of paste or mm -hmm. flux residue uh, in a very uh, demanding environment. This is the case for the railway, the transport, the right. military, when there is no cleaning. In this case, there may be some interaction between the flux residues and this environment, leading to electrochemical migration issues, uh -huh. uh, which lower really uh, the surface installation resistance, and which could lead to failure in this environment. So um, the current method to determine the uh, corrosivity or the absence of corrosivity of the residue are the electrochemical migration test and the SIR. Mm -hmm. But we have seen, we have observed that sometimes it's not enough demanding to meet the requirement of the customer. So we have worked for about 10 years to develop another test, a corrosion test. The name is the Bono test. Um, and we really master this test and it's more selective to select the flux residue with less corrosivity. Right. Uh, another important point is the compatibility. Uh, we have a range of solder paste, lead free, uh, low silver. Okay, this is the alloy part, but regarding the chemistry, we have to have this good reliability mm. also between the paste and the coating. Yeah. Uh, we also have a big range of coating. Um, our focus is to get to have solutions with um, really uh, less energy demanding for mm. curing or less toxicity. And um, also fluoropolymer coatings where uh, in case the conformal coating uh, are not used at the moment. And we assess also the compatibility of the solder paste and flux residue uh, with the conformal coating and these other coatings okay. with the Bono test. Okay, and in terms of, uh, before we go on to sustainability, with respect to compatibility, there obviously is a one-stop solution there, but if you have a client that has, already has a particular product that they want to use, they don't want to buy all of your products, they just want to buy some, is that still possible? It's not a take the whole set or don't take any kind of... Uh, as I mentioned before, uh, we are self-formulators of the whole range. Yeah. Uh, we know which toxic substances and which uh, molecules are, are using mm. different materials. And what is in the market, I mean, the trends and the yeah. needs, allergen-free, etc. So either if it is not 
uh, a compatibility of the whole range of us. We know what is in the market. Right. We know what our good competitors yeah. have in yeah. there. So we know how to interact you know, okay. with a cleaning, with a coding, yeah. or a paint. So you can be compatible with, with other people's products as well as your own. Certainly. Okay, yeah. it's really important. And on the sustainability side, um, you know, we talk about the green issues and the sustainability regularly, and um, there's a little bit more momentum in it, I think, at the moment, and we're seeing more OEMs having sustainability strategies. Is that something that you're seeing come down from the OEMs through the contract manufacturers to their requirements and what they buy from you? Yes, I mean, uh, for the last uh, couple of years, we have a very close collaboration with uh, industry organizations like IPC, INME, mm -hmm. to collaborate on uh, environmental and sustainable uh, roadmaps. Uh, again, to, to, to identify which toxic substances may be politically pro prohibited by NGOs or some yeah. other organizations. And um, consider that, though, that, that in mind, we have also set uh, an internal uh, green approach, which is a green way, um, yeah. uh, is more than, than a green label, is more of uh, continuous improvement, certified by Buro Veritas. And we have uh, certain parameters that once a third of the parameters are improved with, a, with an environmental um, perspective, you can yeah. be, be, uh, name it a green way product okay. in a range. Okay, that's yeah. excellent. And you have to must have to work quite closely with organizations like IPC. I know you've been speaking um, this week. Do you, you have quite a close involvement on the technology side with the associations? Um, we are a part of the um, committee for uh, standardization. Mm -hmm. As uh, we, we really want to, to be part of the change in the, yeah. the new, uh, from the new um, standardization, yeah. because this is really part of the job. Of, uh, yeah. yeah, and it's part of the compatibility, isn't mm -hmm. it? It has to be compatible with those standards and the associations, I guess, worldwide. And the future applications, I mean, yeah. the, the whole interaction, embedded systems, LED systems. Yeah, so. yeah that, was a, that was what I was going to ask next. What, what are you expecting in terms of, of, of the next set of challenges? What are you expecting to be working on in terms of development? We know what you've got in the market, but what can we expect further into this year? Development? Um, well, first, we, we know there are more and more sensitive components um, in, in the populating the boards, like NAMP mm -hmm. devices, LED devices. So the handling, the, 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 the soldering with lower melting uh, point uh, solar paste uh, is, is getting more and more demanding to, to, to still have a reliable mm. process, reliable performance in, in, in the field with more sensitive components. Right. So it's, it's quite a challenge uh, for our R&D department and, yeah. and then to put in the market of the applications. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so we can expect to see new products in that area as we go through the year, I guess. Yeah, there are some ongoing um, yeah. MPIs so yeah. handling okay. our products. Okay. okay, well, excellent. Thanks for stopping by, guys. Thanks for talking to me. And I uh, hope you enjoy the rest of the show. Thank you. Thanks, Emmanuel. Thank you. Thank you, Rodrigo. Thank you, Bill. Thank you.